That's right, Repo. Woo! Individuality. Did I see the BAFTA award speeches? I did not. No, but I heard like uh, Alan Wake 2 won a bunch. Uh, I think Dave the Diver won one. Baldur's Gate 3 won a bunch. Cyberpunk won something. That was awesome. And I think Sweet Anita and Cyborg Angel were the ones that actually presented that award, which is totally badass. Cyborg Angel is actually in the Cyberpunk. Which is super cool. Alan Wake 2 is amazing. Great. Not doing that. Loot all of that. Right, anyone else chasing us? I don't think so. Dave the Diver Dev specifically said thank you for not nominating us as indie game and celebrated beating Zelda in a game design category. Good for them, dude. Good for them. That's super cool, man. You'll have to check those out later. I love the Dave the Diver Devs, man. They're, they're such good people. Um, if I can lure him down solo. Can I blow up those barrels right next to that guy? Yeah. Sorry, puppers. Co, where did you go on holiday? Uh, I haven't been on holiday in 11 years, pretty much. I, my last big thing I was just to see. How did his key come back so fast? Yeah. Oh, well. Got him! Great. Are you gonna play the Dave the Diver virtual girlfriend DLC thing? I'm sorry. What? I have not heard of that. Um, last I heard of Dave the Diver was the dredge thing. What? Uh, no, my next kind of actually going on holiday thing is uh, my family's going to the beach in June, and I'm gonna go down and take some, take a few days and hang out with them. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> hey, kitty. Oh. Any game that lets you run around the world finding cats by petting them is kind of a win in my book. Have you ever left the USA for some holiday? The only time I have ever left the borders of freedom was when I went to London to record Knobber for Baldur's Gate 3. So far, that is the only time I have I have left this beautiful free nation. Mm -hmm. But I'd like to, eventually. I would definitely like to uh, to do more. Never been to Poland? Nope, never went to Poland. I People thought I was lying about the cyberpunk thing. I wasn't. I've never been to Poland. I did all the recording for cyberpunk in California. <laughs> so, I... I never went to Poland. Nope. Everyone thought I was lying. Nope. <laughs> never did. And for those that have seen the picture, that was a deep fake made from Julia. In fact, I think that was one of the world's first deep fakes made by uh, channel personality Julia Kassan. Yep. World's first deep fakes right here. Gets Festusen says that's kind of sad. That's kind of sad that I haven't been to Poland. If that's what you're saying, I agree. It's very sad that I haven't been to Poland. You do kind of remind me of that crazy guy in Cyberpunk. I get that every so often. I do. I do. But you've never left the U.S.? No, no I've, I've been to I've been to London. Yeah. Well, I've left one. <laughs> Who did you play in Cyberpunk? Uh, Johnny Silverhand. Actually, I played Keanu Reeves playing Johnny Silverhand. Yeah. So my actual role in Cyberpunk was Keanu Reeves. <clears throat> I 
I know cyber wow. food. Ooh. You've gained rare skill points from strengthening your bonds. Cool. Oh, exiled with a 10. Oh, please. Appreciate you, buddy. You know you're good. Thank you, man. Uh, we got a dex and strength point. Um, allows you to perform counter sparks in mid-air. I feel like that's really important. I do want this a lot, but I need two points for that. Um, gives you the option of, to intimidate your interlocutor. That's a speechcraft intimidate. I'm going to get that because this sounds amazing. Triggered by holding triangle when facing an enemy that critical hits can be inflicted on. Guaranteed to kill, this maneuver also terrorizes nearby foes. Okay. Looks like we're doing that. Great. Keep up. Uh, was I in Everspace 2? Yeah, yeah, I, I, I play a station owner in Everspace 2. Sells beans. And I know all about them. I'm a big bean guy. Night. Mm -hmm. Exiled, exactly. Nailed it. I think this is like it for up here. What else we need over here? Oh. Oh, we already got a check mark on it, so we've already done it? These are level eight. I can't really do level eight yet. I don't think we're ready for level eight. Probably just do the main story a little bit more and then we can like warp back around this area and do more stuff later. anything we want to do or get here a giant really well-made cemetery maybe we'll come here in the future or something is is there no falling damage Oh, Shacklin. So the, the, the dating thing was an April Fool's joke? Okay, I was gonna say, dude. I was gonna say, did I miss like a, a whole announcement? Like, okay, that makes a lot more sense. Great. Thank you for double checking that, bud. You're not trying to fall hard enough, Co. Fall harder. I, I will. I will fall so hard. I will fall off. Yeah, dude, we're totally going to come here later. This place is designed to be sneaked around. Okay, let's, let's just go for now. Mm -mm. Yeah, let's go to the main quest. Cool. Wow. Oh, Lance earlier said, I genuinely love this game. I'm 60 hours into it, and I'm exactly halfway through the game. What? 60 hours and you're halfway through it? How big is this game? There's no way that's right. Dude, Lance is a streamer. He streams his whole thing. You can go check right now. <laughs> like, he's not exactly hiding it. We got a rare from that. That's pretty cool. Oh yeah, mods. Thank you. I got Exile's tip. Yeah, I really, I really do appreciate it. And thank you again, Exile, for uh, supporting the mod team, buddy. Thank you. Oh, the story only has three acts, so you can finish it pretty fast if you want to. Okay. Yeah, I'll, I'll have to talk to Lance and see like what. I wonder if. Oh, there's like cities. Oh. 
Oh, how cool. I thought this was going to be like um, Ghost of Tsushima, where there was just going to be like little tiny towns and stuff. I didn't realize we were going to be going into cities. That's cool. Oh, yeah, man. Hi. <laughs> um... Chad, he's okay. He's fine. He's fine. He's fine. He's okay. Oh, uh, mods, if we could pause that, please. Thank you, thank you. Tap, tap, shwink. Now, where does this go? This doubles back to... Where? I think this up to here. Drinky Co time. Ko is the butcher of Yokohama. Okay, no, shut up. That's not fair. I just got here, dang it. Go. <laughs> I was bringing his Dark Urge playthrough into here. That's right. We gotta continue the Dark Urge run at some point. So we're just gonna do it in Yokohama, apparently. How long to beat, says the main story is 20 and a half hours. Main an extra 48 hours. Completion is 67. Yeah, I'm gonna have to talk to Lance. I, I, I'm, the only thing I can think of is he's doing like complete map completion and taking that slowly. Which is still cool. I mean, I, I can see this game is definitely one that seems to very much cater and reward map completion, which is fantastic. Love games like this. Where's a permit? Oh, Ninchaka, just a partner. Just a partner. Yeah. Uh, I don't have one. No one gets so here without a permit. Okay. Um, well, we'll have to talk to him then, I guess. We're gonna get a hold of one. I don't have a time to be associating with the likes of you. Go ask around at the local village. some red nuts deep green odachi bamboo three you kind of cool oh, dude oh lord bamboo sheet i don't know what that is i need a loot radar man this is like this is giving me stress <laughs> i need a loot radar it's that I need to be able to like, I need, where's my loot pulse? I need a ping. Okay. I feel like I'm walking by so much loot. Oh, Joan Edge, completely. I, I hope they do, yeah. Joan Edge says, you understand any time if you have any kind of PC trouble, people are gonna meme about Starforge. I, that, that's, that, why do you think I went with them? exactly what I'm hoping. Oh, your computer's not working? That's what you get from buying from a penis hammer. What do you think was going to happen? <sighs> okay. If you guys don't do that, I'll be disappointed. <clears throat> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Daedalus says, pip, 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 a, a, a hammer? What? <laughs> what? What's going on? What's happening? Is, did Co get a penis hamper sponsorship? 
That doesn't seem very safe for work. What even is that? Does he have a referral code? Do I want to buy one? What's a penis hammer? I mean, I like Ko. He's recommending them. Maybe I should have one. What to do? <laughs> so confused. Obtained a bow? Okay. Ooh, stealthy range attacks. There we go. I wonder if this guy will stealthily know when I shoot him in his temple. Stealthy bow shot. He noticed. Do, 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 uh oh. Get that guy down, get that guy down. There it is. Okay. What are we doing here? A shield bro. We haven't fought a lot of shield bros. Where's the last guy? Oh, he's over there. He's like behind my waypoint. Okay. Bro's got a big old hat on. Or can you buy this game? This game is currently PS5 only. Yeah, sorry, bud. Yay, exclusives. Hooray. Cool. Oh, three points. Didn't we need... Oh, no. Level up. Plus one skill points. Okay. Uh, I want to work towards... This is like my goal right now is this. I want to work towards that. I need three skill points for that, so we're going to wait on that. And then I need two charisma points. I don't know how to, like, get charisma points. I need to figure that out. Yeah, this looks crazy. That, that, that skill levels up to be nuts. Cool. A stable. Hmm. Hey, friend. Oh, thank you. You saved my life. I thought I was about to meet my maker. Who were they? Bandits. They attacked our village with no warning. Bastards. But now, everyone else is back. Thanks to you, we are in proper shape to rebuild the village. I wish to repay you for saving our village. You will find all their loot stashed in the cave at the top of the hill. If mm. you are heading that way, you might find a little something that could be handy. What do you say? Can you guide me there? I'm sorry, but it'll be a bit too tough on these old bones. You'll see why when you get there. Okay. Then sure, I'll do it. I presume you are probably struggling to get through that checkpoint. It is likely you will find a permit there. 
If you need a travel permit, you'd be wise to hurry. You are not the only Ronin after one. <coughs> this is my thumbs up. Co, did you know that stances work in advantage, disadvantage, and neutral if you look at the arrow on the right of the opponent's health? I do know that. Unfortunately, I don't have a single other stance. <laughs> so, unfortunately, I'm kind of dicked. Um, speaking of dicks, I'd like to say a big thanks to our new sponsor, Starforge PCs. If you'd like more information, check out co.tv slash Starforge uh, for more information there. And, uh, yeah. Really appreciate them syncing up with the channel. Mm. Great. I love that I have a new segue anytime that comes up on the channel. This is good. I think this is gonna this is a partnership that I feel is gonna work. <laughs> Are you a fan of hammers? <laughs> Do you like pe no okay. <clears throat> uh let's go to I guess we yeah, let's just go to the mission. Pretty cool. Welcome. Now, wait, what do you do if I already have my horse? The stables where you can buy and sell horses and tax. What do you need? You got it. Oh, they have their own stats and everything? Dude. Oh, my God. <sighs> Chat. See you later. You know if you press LB after an attack, it will clear your weapon of blood and get rid of the yellow bar? I did not know that. Um, I did know that if you do the RB, it does that, but I was not familiar that LB does too. Just like in Neo though, I know about the mechanic, but I'm never gonna use it because I never think to use it in combat because I am a basic B. Good talk. Yeah, games like this tend to be like, man, look at all these cool moves you can do. You can hold X and tap R1 to change your stance up to positively affect the downward thrust of your sword. Or you can hold LB, hit Y, and then spin around to the left, and that will add to the key pulse, which you can then do when the timing is done to get the blood off your weapon. Isn't that awesome? And I'm like, cool, so I hit square to attack? Great, I'm just going to press that a bunch. Hmm. <clears throat> Okay. Anyway, game's fun. No, that was like, <laughs> the game that I feel exemplifies that is Neo, especially Neo 2. You go into the skill system of Neo 2 and it's like, if you go from a mid stance of this weapon to a high stance of that weapon mid combo while doing a heavy attack, then get a 4% bonus to your key generation. And I'm like, that's great. What's key? Um, I'm getting murdered. Oh, key, yeah, key pulsing in Neo, I only finally started actually key pulsing when it became damn near mandatory. I haven't really hit that wall in this game yet. Yo. Someone just doesn't know when to quit. Oh, I like this guy. 
It seems you might also have a story to tell. I know. Tag along with me, will you? This way! This way! Come on! Cool. The exit. Uh, can I can I even do this here? Oh, I can. Great, which is good because I'm gonna get some lunch. Guys, thank you for hanging out with me this morning for our first stream of Rise of the Ronin. After playing this game for three hours, I can safely say this game is cool. I'm I'm gonna be honest. I was a little worried about this because so few people I know played this game. Um, it, it, like, it wasn't very big on Twitch. I saw many streamers play it for one session and put it down. So when I came in, I was kind of like, yeah, I'm expecting this to be kind of cool, but I'm sure there'll be things that I'm just not going to like about it. Just like all the other people and, and then move on. Um, however, now that I played it for three hours, I can say that I have not hit that point yet. I have, I have not only not hit that point, but I keep finding things that I seem to really like about this game. Now, granted, I'm a huge Neo fan. And, I, and I'm seeing lots and lots of Neo influence. But again, kind of weird, I was one of the only streamers that streamed Neo too. So um, outside of a, a few other like very cool streamers that I like watching. Um, and Wo Long was the same way as well. So I don't know, dude. I, I, I was a little concerned about this game, but to be honest, it's kind of great so far. So we're going to keep going with it for sure. I can, I can definitely safely say we're going to do at least one more stream. I think I can safely say at this point, I'm going to beat the main story. I want to at least do the main story of this game. I don't know if we're going to 100% it, um, like clear the map kind of thing, but I'm pretty sure at this point we're going to do the main story because this is, this is really cool. Uh, anyway, I'm out of here for now. Thank you guys so much for your time. I really appreciate it. Thank you for your subs, your tips, your cheers, all of the support that you show. I am going to be rating my off channel now slash co- uh, there's going to be some reruns on there for about an hour, hour and a half until I get back from lunch. When I get back from lunch, we'll be back on this channel for some Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. And then tonight, I am hoping to jump on for some Pantheon for a cozy stream. I'm hoping to. I'd like to, I'd like to check out the Pantheon Alpha. I think I'm going to do that at some point this weekend. So if we don't do a Pantheon stream tonight, we'll probably do it tomorrow night. Um, but I'd like to get to it tonight. I want to check on the state of the Alpha and see how it is and check it out. So we'll see. It's going to be a, uh, a live one. So we're just going to jump onto the servers and, and play and see how it goes. So, yeah, probably do that tonight. All right, friends, I'll see you in just a little bit. As always, thanks for being here and catch you soon. Bye-bye.